maybe you want to have a little bit of leeway between the left and right. It's not much, but it's definitely better than going straight up against the wall, um, where there's going to be a, a down air from Rob that lasts about a year, where you're yeah. probably not avoiding it. But, yeah, I feel uh, like I think... if he times it, it's going to be really hard to get around. Yeah, PS2 definitely sounds like a good pick. And Find Us Nation, um, definitely a good call out on the fact that they're not going to be on Battlefield. Um, yeah. Plays with platforms. But uh, final, Epic Gabriel is going to have the entire stage to work with, and Vendetta is going to have to navigate a bit of an obstacle course, but we'll see what he can get going. Yeah, I, I think this works for both of them, because obviously Rob wants to sit on one side, and Vendetta wants to approach him without having to worry about platforms. I think this is the right choice for both. Vendetta currently with a pretty hefty lead, but that's really just one interaction with Ken. Gabriel getting a little antsy with that neutral air a little obvious vendetta is going to hit that parry get more damage more tilts to do more but i will say gabriel in my experience uh is a long set player he gets better the longer his set goes so this best of five i think is going to do really well for him uh, i've seen him reverse 3-0 several times so i think he's going to be in a good spot over time but we'll see how vendetta keeps pace right now dead even between oh. the two a misguided sure you he's gonna pay for it yeah and uh you started to notice that a little bit earlier on the left side stage and then it went for an uh a shuriken as well and yeah. kind of forcing uh you were saying that epic gabriel is a long set player you know at this point just holding shield seems to be the answer you get the high yeah. percent hold your shield and just take advantage of vendetta being a bit overzealous vendetta might be trying to push his advantage a little bit too much. As soon as you get it on Rob, you want to make the most of it. There we go. Down tilt yeah. to the shore you. He's going to recover the ledge. 55%, so not amazing. But all it takes is really one extension. Yep, he catches the up tilt. It's the up spat. 28, not quite as much as he wanted, I'm sure, but he's going to get even more here. And look at that SDI from Gabriel. Did you see how far he went on those tilts? The dude is mashing his stick. But the eye is only going to matter for helping to make the combo end a little bit earlier. It's not mattering for these openings. Vendetta having yeah. no problem at all finding them. I um, mean, you know, jumping in, we were a little concerned about it, but at the end of the day, Rob actually doesn't have any good out of shield options. And Rob isn't the most nimble character, so Vendetta jumping in it seems to be working. Just touching the shield after Gabriel not having an answer. But again, the overzealousness, you know, the, the upbeats yeah. coming out, it's a little terrifying, and it might actually give Epic play Gabriel another opening. Not quite yet, though. As Vendetta does take a lead. Yeah, he's able to get that stock there. And, and that's a good point. Rob doesn't really have any... Oh my oh, god! Man. Huge <laughs> up smash got pulled in from the top, and that was set up so long in advance. Uh, what I was going to say is that Vendetta keeps jumping in at that 45 degree angle, and it, it really feels like Rob doesn't have much to cover that angle. I think you should uh, you should be able to empathize, Olimar player. That 45 degree rough. angle could be a little <laughs> tough. I mean, you could commit to an up smash on Rob, but that's so that's yeah. not a good idea. So right now, Vendetta uh, making the most use of it, just coming in as much as he can. 84% really just needs one up tilt, down tilt, something like that to confirm and assure you he's got game one. Definitely. I mean, even with the SDI, you're still probably going to get hit by it. And Vendetta knows as well. I do like the fact that Vendetta is not just throwing it out, out the blue, trying to make it actually connect a little bit too far away right there to get it. Can I try again? Yeah, that's it. There's no way out this time. <laughs> I, I do yeah. like the awareness of Vendetta, Yeah, though. I like the idea. Like, he, he knows that Gabriel's going to pan it. And I think because of auto turnaround, he doesn't have to, like... Normal characters, if you get somebody in the, in the, in the corner like that, you got to worry about the roll behind. You got to worry about them trying to escape. Ken doesn't really. You just down tilt. And if they spot dodge, you catch it. If they roll in, you catch it. If they jump, maybe, then you're in trouble. But I think uh, I think Vendetta just really had all of his options covered there. Vendetta's going to take game one on FD. Yeah. Very convincingly as well. Um, yep. And I'd say that, in a, of course, it was last stock each. But let's not forget that there was a Shoryuken that was thrown out that essentially gifted the kill to Gabriel. Um, and it, that, that was kind of a huge advantage Vendetta had prior to that. So I, I would say it was rather commanding, if you will. But... I think a stage shift would definitely assist. I think maybe Epic Gabriel needs to maybe jump into forward air to cover that 45 degree angle because you can tell Ken's gonna sure. jump. You know, you're coming in, all right, let me just use a disjoint, jump backwards throughout a forward air and maybe just stop it kind of air to air. But aside from that, I really don't know how to deal with the jump hit as Rob yeah. against Ken. That's a really good point. I think the first option 
the jumping forward air would be good. He, that's something you don't see Gabriel do a lot. That's something you see a lot from other Robs. Um, maybe something like Wadi, who loves that stuff. But Gabriel is more content to sort of use his neutral airs and to try to make his most off of, like, single conversions. He's just not finding any of those here. And Vendetta is running all over him. And, and it sucks because I feel like Gabriel is particularly good in the CQC against both players. He's good up close uh, between Rob down tilt, between, you know, his grab mix-ups, stuff like that. He's very good at it, but you can't play Ken's game. And if you're fighting up close, that is Ken's game. You have to stay there. That's all Ken does in Street Fighter. Play his yep. footsies, you know? It'd be different if a normal Smash character got it for Epic Gabriel all day, every day. But uh, against the 2D fighters coming from Street Fighter, not so much. Roundhouse Kid's gonna do it right there. Vendetta, much better lead this time around than last time, and a little concerning if you are Epic Gabriel fan at the moment. Um, on the plus, more and more, you know? You said Epic Gabriel is a long set player. Well, uh, game two is looking difficult right now, but there's still a game three, and it's not over quite yet. Yeah, uh, Ooh, might be catch. able to, to see that showcased here. Excellent focus, is able wow. to escape. Well done, and he goes perfect get up through the side B. He actually timed that so well that he was able to get up, and now almost lapping him in percent. Yeah, we might need to see a, uh, a long set Gabriel trying to go to game five, because right now Vendetta is just running over him. Again, it's it just really comes down to Rob, who's such a big target not being able to cover Ken, just jumping in on him over and over. Yeah, and then the roll is unfortunately are only going to help so much. You know, the shield pressure is there when Ken gets in, and you want to roll, but if you're at the corner, you can only roll in. You can't really back roll, and unfortunately, the auto turnaround, as you mentioned earlier, is going to stop that option. So what do you do when Ken gets in is really the question that uh, Epic Gabriel needs to find the answer to. Right now, Gabriel uh, being very slippy, actually. I really like the play here. He's like extremely slippery but not in a way that's like he's not rolling all around he's not jumping he's just like getting around vendetta's moves and it's gotten a lot of percent here using this character to great effect excellent back air tries to catch him on the edge i'm really surprised that laser didn't hit but uh right now it's about even again thanks to gabriel's movement just making a yeah. big uh sort of lumbering character like rob look very limber. Uh, one bigger, or one issue on top of that is the fact that Vendetta keeps trying to force the kill, and at this point, Gabriel is, again, yeah. just playing safe. You saw it go right there. Epic Gabriel fully aware that Vendetta really wants the stock gone. Just putting out a hitbox for Vendetta to run into, and it has been working time and time again. Um, which, maybe that's the better answer. Just wait for your opponent to do it to you. Wow. Yeah. I mean, you said it earlier, as long as, as soon as you hit like 110, 120, just hold grab. I got, or hold shield. I gotta be honest, I don't think Vendetta's grabbed once. I don't think we've seen a single yeah. grab from either player in, you know, almost two matches. So if you just hold that shield, yeah, it's a lot of pressure, but at least you're not dying. Uh, yeah. Gabriel might catch wise to that in a little bit. Tried to bounce him off the gyro, but the gyro stopped spinning at that exact moment. Gabriel now looking pretty good. Is currently up in percent, but all it takes is one stream from Ken to wipe that away. He's got to be careful of that focus. He gets away from him. There's, what? There is way. I. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, you know? man. Okay. <laughs> well. I. The, the game didn't know either. <laughs> Ken G, bro. just flew... Uh, it, the irony is that the Pat GDI has been circling around Twitter, and uh, <laughs> you may have just witnessed it there. Um, yeah, I don't know what that was. That, it was like he went straight up and slightly to the... I think he held in, so like he went straight up. No red spark, nothing. Just perished. Um, I, I, I think wow. I think it's, it's one of those things where like you think you're out, right? You're like, oh, he messed up the confirm. He did the forward tilt, I'm good, and then just, jeez. It. Goodbye. It's all right. Um, well, it was looking good for Epic Gabriel at times. Um, there definitely was some hope, some some good adjustments. And again, just holding the shield and being a little more patient and waiting for Vendetta to kind of hang themselves was working out. Yeah. Just unfortunately, Epic Gabriel didn't get to that percent. It's really around that 110 threshold when Vendetta starts trying to force it. But if he hits you around 80 and is able to convert it, then that, that's it. It's a wrap. Um, next stop. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it almost see, reminds uh, me of, uh, I don't know, when, back in Brawl, you know, Snake versus Falco, and snakes would blow themselves up to a certain percent. 
it's kind of the opposite here, where as yeah. long as you can get past that threshold, kind of the Marth percent, if you will, you're kind of in the clear. But before that, you were really in trouble. Yeah, especially on a big character. Like, Rob is just so huge, and pretty much any string is going to confirm. It could be really tough. Three, 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 two, to see what game it three entails. We're go. back on PS2. Uh, I, I don't really mind this pick. I don't think the pick was really the reason he lost. Gabriel uh, is going to have to hope that long set gameplay the first the Rio comes out has been sort of stopping him at every oh chance he gets. Um, that was 61% off of one open. It's a lot. It's a bunch. Yo, it's, okay, but you do make it back, fortunately. That could have been a lot worse. But just wow. And Epic Gabriel is doing a great job with the, Wow, this might be it. Edgar is going to go out there, got the forward air, and uh, I think that is a wrap. Fantastic option and just choice from Epic Gabriel, getting Vendetta off the stage and then really capitalizing, finishing the play. Is he going to get out of the corner here? Yeah, so Vendetta, I think, may be aggressing a little bit too hard. Gabriel's going to sneak past him. He's back in the corner, though. He's just continually trying to hold his back to that ledge and create as much space as possible, but Vendetta's doing a good job of cornering him. You can see both that neutral are going all the way around. 111 currently on Gabriel. Vendetta catches him at the side. Down tilt up B. It's just, I, you know what's going to happen, but you just can't get away from it. Yeah, it's like a bad movie, all right? You saw the reviews, you watched it anyway, and at this point, you already paid your money and you got to finish the show. Shout out to The Spiral. I hear it's terrible. Right now, uh, 73 on Vendetta. Gabriel going to land with that controller, as per usual. 101 currently. And uh, this is just more of the same, man. I mean, th this, I feel like this is one of those matchups. Excellent back air. Well done. Vendetta not expecting it. I don't even know if he DI because the angle in that move is nuts. I feel like this matchup is so um, easy bake. It's so, like, cut and dry. You know exactly what both characters are going to do. Obviously, there are little micro adjustments that you can make during the match. But, like, Ken's going to be doing the same thing from game one to game five. Rob is going to be doing the same thing to try to avoid what Ken's doing from game one to game five. It, it's really on Ken to hit the gas. Yeah. Um, which, trying to hit the gas right there, mid cost the stock, goes for the down air. A little bit too late right there by Gabriel. Trying to slam down too early. You gotta wait a second, you know? Yeah. But, uh, Epic Gabriel, much better job, you know? Um, I, I question Ooh. the use of... Wow. Okay. The, the, you can never doubt Ken being able to make you explode off the open. It doesn't matter where. Yeah. But, um, I can't even talk about Epic Gabriel. Right now, he's just getting juggled. Yeah, Horizontally Vendetta, juggled. <laughs> Vendetta making so much use of his strings. He's just so good at putting those together. Gets the up tilt. Gabriel gonna try to escape. He knows this is his winner's bracket life. He just took almost 100% basically free. He's gonna avoid that short you, but for how long? How do you create this space against the monster that's just coming at you? It's just... It feels like Ken is just Jason Voorhees and he's just walking and you know what's gonna happen. But maybe Gabriel can put a stop to it. He's gotta get the edge guard. Gyro's out. He's gotta get the edge guard. Yep, he can't do oh. it. And now, now you're now you're Ooh. scared again. Get down there. Okay, still keeping the pressure up. Epic Gamer doing a fantastic job. He's gonna drop the gyro down. Oh, no. no! Beautiful recovery from Vendetta! Just bypassing the ledge altogether, bringing the pike to Epic Gabriel, and then again converting in a really unorthodox manner to take it in surprisingly a 3-0 from what felt like such a back and forth battle. Yeah, it did. I mean, like, the first game was obviously sort of a blow-up, uh, but the other games did feel like they could go either way. You know, Gabriel clearly had all of the right stuff. He had the right idea. He had the right game plan. But it's just about executing it consistently and often enough and finding huge haymaker blows where you can, like, take off a stock at 60, 70, 80 on the side. Like, I feel like you need to kill Ken very early to beat his yeah. pace, because otherwise he's going to get, you know, two interactions and then you're at 90. Um, Vendetta just did an excellent job of getting in consistently, doing so much damage, make the most out of his strings, and then finding the kill setups where it didn't look like there would be them. Um, yeah. Or it, it looks like Gabriel got away. That's what was so ridiculous to watch, was just it didn't matter how Vendetta got a, an opening, just the string continually, it just kept going, which was just kind of wild. Yeah. Um, because of, 
as a player where it's like, okay, I can go for this position, I can do this, and I'll get hit by that. Okay, it's not the end of the world. But when Vendetta found that opening, it didn't matter the hit. You were taking 40, 50, 60, maybe dying. Every combo essentially puts you off stage, which now you have to worry about recovering against an up tilt. Just yeah. really stellar play from Vendetta all around. Yeah, no question. Well done to Vendetta. Again, the game plan was sort of, uh, sort of cut and dry at the very start and all the way to the very end, but Vendetta playing his game so well. And that's going to do it for the set. Uh, so Gabriel is unfortunately going to drop down to the loser's bracket. But his tournament run is not over. He 